And powertrain's really smooth. That eight-speed automatic does a really good job. And the suspension's actually, it's pretty smooth here on the Rolls-Royce, again. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the most insane Rolls-Royce ever created. So this is a Mansory Edition Rolls-Royce Cullinan that's bulletproof. It's like, I don't know, I've never seen anything quite like this before. But before getting the video, a huge shout out and thank you to Armor Max for giving me some time with this colon in. I'm gonna include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out everything about them. And with that being said, let's just get right into the review. So under the hood, we have a 6.7 liter V12 that's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, the normal Cullinan produces about 563 horsepower and just over 600 pound-feet of torque, 627 to be exact. Apparently, the Mansory kit bumps things up to over 600 horsepower and then close to 700 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we go to the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more content just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post videos every single day. Starting with the hood here on the colon, and first off, it is absolutely enormous. And by the way, it is fully armored, which you can't really see. You just got to trust me on that. And then you guys can see here with the carbon fiber strip right there for Mansory. And then of course, we got the Spirit of Ecstasy logo, which can retract. That's kind of another cool feature. That's so cool. Now, going over the rest of the front end, you guys can see the insane LED lights here that come with the Cullinan. And then there's a bunch of carbon fiber trim added to this, again, part of the Mansory kit. And then this grill here is just absolutely enormous. You guys can see here with the Rolls-Royce logo, and then those are actually strobe lights there inside of the grill. We'll kind of go over that in just a moment. And then a closer look at those lights and then all the carbon fiber here on the front end as well. And so now you can see with everything put together, pretty cool, and there is the lights while they're on. So definitely some fun features here. Now our tire wheel setup is 295, 30, 24 in the front and over in the rear as well. And these are by far the largest wheels that I have personally reviewed on the channel. You guys can see the Mansory logo there in the center. And then notice it says Mansory Forged Edition right there. And then you've got the red brake caliper, which is kind of hidden because of how many spokes there are on the wheel, but it all looks pretty cool. And then we've got more Rolls Royce logo action. You guys can see there's actually some venting here on the side as well, which is really cool. Again, carbon fiber here at the bottom and then you guys will like the doors in a moment but you can see the handles are actually touching each other which is pretty interesting and then look at the fender flare there in the rear and then taking a look at the full side profile here of the colon and it looks absolutely ridiculous again with those 24 inch wheels and everything else is all blacked out on this and Man, I'm a big fan. Now, the next thing to mention is the entire side of this Cullinan is armored. So everything that you're looking at right there, which is also pretty cool. And yes, we do have bulletproof glass as well. So just quickly showing the cargo area here, you guys can see we've got a cargo cover that is uh, leather. Of course it is because it's a Rolls Royce. And then you've got these controls for the seats and overall storage space is actually really solid. And this is something to mention is even though this is armored, you still have the normal practicality built in. And then the other thing I forgot to mention here, you guys can see we actually have the little tailgate here in the back as well, which is another cool feature. And then we've got more carbon fiber here in the rear. You guys can see the Rolls Royce logo down below. And then even within the tail light, you got the RR logo, which is pretty cool. And then parking sensors here at the bottom and look at the carbon fiber diffuser here. Now you guys probably noticed there's something interesting about these exhaust tips. This has the smoke screen technology. So I'm going to include a link to a G-Wagon video that I filmed with Armor Max about a year or so ago, where that also had a smoke screen so you guys can see what that actually looks like. We're not gonna be testing that today with the Rolls Royce. Um, but yeah, if you wanna see the smoke screen stuff, just go look at that video. Or I'll try to remember to put a clip of that video in this one if I remember while I'm editing, but there you go. <laughs>
try the we're gonna try the shocking door handle here and I haven't I haven't been electrocuted since I was a little kid and put like a fork in a power outlet. So this this will be an experience for me. Ah. <laughs> it's like it, you cannot grab onto the handle. I'm gonna try that again just one more time. It kind of freaks me out, but <laughs> it's like the best way to describe it is obviously electrocution kind of feels like a little bit of a burning pain. It doesn't it doesn't have that like you've seen videos of people getting tased, it's not like that. It's just like a sharp pain through your arm and you like physically cannot grab onto the handle. Like I'm trying to grab on and I, like, I cannot grab onto the handle at all. That's crazy. And when you put it together, this Cullinan with the Mansory kit is just so cool. And then just knowing that it's bulletproof as well, I don't know, it just kind of adds to the flair of the Rolls Royce. Now, of course, in normal Rolls Royce fashion, we have the suicide doors. Now, taking a look at the door panel itself, this is pretty crazy. Everything is covered in leather or wood trim, even down to the bottom right here, which is pretty crazy. The only plastic that I can really see is just right uh, here, which obviously makes sense because that's like part of the closing portion of the door panel. But anyways, you guys can see really nice like finish on the handle itself. And then also with the window control here, I love the look at the speakers for the sound system. And then we do have some controls here inside for the seats and then a USB port as well. And just like every other Rolls Royce, you got the umbrella here in the door panel, which is pretty cool. There's this button down below that actually unlocks it, but definitely a nice feature. Now actually sitting here in the back, you guys can see legroom is fantastic, really spacious back here. We got this little like storage pocket and again, more leather trim. And then we've got some vents here in the rear. We have our own climate zone with heated seats as well. And then you guys can see a little storage space down below. And then headroom's also solid back here. Now I would like to mention we have this like leather grab handle. Look at the metallic trim. And then yes, we do have a leather headliner as well. And even a Rolls Royce Cullinan has a fancy cup holder armrest setup. Definitely a little bit over engineered, but you know, fancy looking. Now here's a front door panel in the Cullinan. You guys can see again with all of the leather trim here. And then look at the wood trim down below, just like in the rear. And it fully extends to the bottom. We've got all of our window controls right here. And then we've got normal practical stuff like your mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. That's the opening for the hatch. And then the mirrors also have blind spot monitoring. Now something that I do need to mention that I can't really show on camera too well is the fact that the doors are heavier because they are armored. So they definitely have some heft to them. And then something else to note is you can still roll down the windows here in the front. And then you guys can see just how thick this glass is. Now this particular one has handgun protection. So it's not like the most insane armoring you can do, but I mean, you know, it's still protection nonetheless. And the fact that you can still utilize the front windows. And by the way, that's as far as they'll go down if you're wondering. And then as for the rear windows, they don't go down. And then you can also see on the front door panel, we've got memory seat functionality and we also have the massage seat function too. This is such a cool look with the doors open. I wanted to turn the colon in on so I can show you guys some other cool features. So with those seat controls, for example, I can pull that and then notice the seat will pop down and then I can stop it and go back if I want, which is pretty cool. Then I'll lock back in place. And then with the front seat, you got like normal power adjustments that'll move the seat backwards and forwards. And just look at the seats themselves. Really beautiful leather trim perforated, all of that. And same thing with the rear seats, super comfortable you guys are wondering but yeah this is the cool thing is like this look with the doors now just because the lighting's kind of crappy it's kind of hard to see this switch but this switch right here turns on the electrocuting door handles that is correct this colon in has electrocuting door handles now this right here is for the siren system so yes it does have like siren sounds and everything and then you guys can see the st that's for the strobe um right there now these stickers are obviously going to be taken off this is just for video purpose so that you guys can kind of see everything uh, labeled and then you guys saw the engine stops right like the light controls safety tech uh stuff here as well and then this is also part of that strobe system so you can make like police siren sounds and everything it's it's pretty cool so hypothetically that means that as you're going down the road in your rolls royce you just flip this on and you press this button and then you let everyone know that their mom goes to college 
so here's the steering wheel for the Cullinan. You can see really nice leather all around, even on the airbag cover as well. And it has normal practical controls, like stuff for the volume controls, your adaptive cruise control, you know, normal modern car stuff. It just looks funky in Rolls Royce's own way, I suppose. Now you guys can see we have a turn signal stock and then we have like a column shifter. And this is the most interesting thing. This is like a million dollar vehicle at the Man Street kit, I think. And it's like super plasticky for the column shifter and the other stock. So I think that's weird. Now, as for the gauge cluster, it's pretty cool. It's kind of got this like old school look to it, like old school luxury vintage type look, but then it's digital. So it's, <laughs> it's definitely weird. It's like mixing modern tech with old school luxury. And then it does have like a 360 camera system. Now, obviously Rolls-Royce is owned by BMW. And so you guys will see a lot of like BMW-ness with a lot of the tech. Like this is literally uh, BMW's camera system, for example. And speaking of BMW, this is kind of like their infotainment system. It's different in like Rolls-Royce's own way, but <laughs> it's it, it definitely like kind of has like a lot of the same uh, feel and everything. I love how you have like a Rolls-Royce assist, uh, for example. Um, but through the infotainment system, this is where you can like raise and lower the spirit of ecstasy if you're wondering. In the vehicle tab, it's this button right here and then raise, lower, automatic, so pretty simple. Hey, this is funny, just like BMW models, you put your finger over there and it does the radio presets, that's pretty interesting. And then like, look at the vents, this is so cool. Like to basically open and close it, you have this little switch right there. And I don't know, it just, it, it all feels really like high class. This is just your volume control uh, right there for the radio. And then you guys can see here for the climate controls down below, it's hilarious. Soft, medium, high, max. <laughs> Heated and cooled seats. Heated steering wheel, you know, you kind of expect it. And then this is interesting for the temperature, how you have like the two different dials. It's, yeah, again, it's just super unique with everything they do here in the Rolls Royce. And then you guys can see we have this little panel right here, really nice wood trim that just covers the cup holders. And then we've got more controls here for like the suspension to raise and lower parking sensors. And then this is your analog control for the infotainment system if you don't want to use the touchscreen. And then look, we got like held descent control. We have an off-road mode for the colon in as well. And then center console is pretty normal. Um, really nice leather trim here though on the center console. And then look at this. We've got the Cullinan clock, and then the lighting's not great here, but tons of leather trim all over the dash. And then this is pretty interesting here on the dash. You can see the kind of like finish there, and then more nice leather trim. And then we do have really nice glove box lined with felt, which is pretty cool. And then the passenger side also has memory seats, I'm noticing. And then up top, if you're wondering, we do have a full panoramic center. And then yeah, leather uh, headliner, and even like the sun visors and everything. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. Well, let's quickly talk about visibility before we set off. You guys can see visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, do a blind spot monitoring, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And something I forgot to mention earlier um, that I can hopefully show you guys now is there's Mansory on the pedals as well, which is pretty cool. Um, kind of a little bit of a time constraint with this uh, review, if you guys are wondering. So this is my first time ever driving a Rolls Royce, and it happens to be one that is fully armored, <laughs> which is so uh, strange, uh, but awesome, actually. Usually you see like the, you know, Escalades and, you know, Mercedes and all that kind of stuff that's armored. But uh, in today's video, we have an armored Rolls Royce. I guess this is the most like baller way to uh, do some armoring, which is pretty cool. Um, but first thing that I'm noticing here is uh, seat comfort's really, really good with the Rolls Royce. Like these are probably some of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. And powertrain's really smooth. That eight speed automatic does a really good job. And the suspension is actually, it's pretty smooth here on the Rolls Royce. Again, 24 inch wheels, so you think you're gonna feel quite a bit. And when you go over bumps, you actually do feel them. That's something that I find interesting because I was hearing Rolls Royce reviews that, you know, it gets rid of all of the bumps, but you know, this with those big wheels, you, you do get some harshness uh, through them. So that is interesting. And there's a little bit of lag with the pedal too. That's kind of, that's kind of fun. See how this accelerates. <laughs> so I guess the exhaust uh, opens up a bit when you when you get on the throttle because it it sounds pretty sounds pretty sweet um, and uh, the steering on this is it's it's weird it's actually pretty in the middle in terms of like vagueness slash directness um, what I'm kind of noticing with the steering is it, it feels kind of like a pickup truck almost with how not direct it is I suppose and you you also feel it with the weight. 
as well. Yeah, this the, the driving experience with this is so interesting. It's it's unlike anything that I've ever experienced. Kind of reminds me of like G-Wagon mixed with S-Class almost. That engine though, that sounds pretty crazy. That is for sure. Um, so I guess to sum things up with my experience with this fully armored Rolls-Royce uh, Cullinan, um, I think this thing looks fantastic. It drives pretty well. Um, the one thing that I will say though, that is a slight uh, downside is the fact that um, you do get quite a bit of harshness through those wheels when you go over bumps and everything. You think it would ride a little bit smoother being a Rolls Royce. It does a pretty good job, um, but it's it's not exactly uh, perfect. But let me know what you guys think about this build. I think that this is probably the ultimate like armored vehicle because I mean, armored G-Wagons for example are pretty cool, but like an armored Rolls Royce like this, yeah, this is crazy. That's gonna sum things up with our video on this fully armored Rolls Royce colon in. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Armor Max for giving me some time with this colon in. I really appreciate it. Like I said, check out their website in the description down below so you can see everything that they do. And with that being said, I'll see you guys.